Want to learn how to create printable greeting cards in Canva that you can sell? Then keep on watching. Hey y'all, Victoria Sheree here with Pretty Party and Crafty and we're going to jump right into how you can make your own printable greeting cards. So we're going to do this in Canva. So make sure that you have Canva open and at the top you're going to select custom size. Now when I do my printable greeting cards, the final size is usually 5 by 7. So when you set your custom size, just keep in mind what you want the final size to be. So I'm going to change this to inches. Now usually if you're doing a 5 by 7 folded card, you would want the width to be 10 and the height to be 7. But because I'm going to add bleed, I'm going to add a quarter inch to the design. Now, if you don't want to add bleed, then you don't have to, but I am. So instead of 10 by 7, I'm putting in 10.25 by 7.25. Again, if you don't want to add bleed, set this to 10 by 7, and you'll see the difference why I added bleed. All right, we're going to hit create new design. I want to make sure that I know where my trim marks will be. So I'm just going to go to elements. I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to select position and I'm going to change the size of this square to 10 by 7. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I put that in the center. This is just a temporary placeholder because I just want to make sure that I know where everything is at. And these purple guide marks that I'm pulling from the ruler, they're representing the trim marks. Now, if you don't see the ruler on your screen, on your keyboard, just click Shift R and then the um, rulers will display. Okay, I'm also going to pull a guide to the center so I know where the fold is going to be. Okay, I'm going to delete that. Now, as you can see, I have my purple guidelines. The purple outer guides, that represents where the trim marks are going to be. And that center guide, that represents where the fold is going to be. Now, the right side, this is going to be the front of your card. And the left side, this is going to be the back of your card. So if you want to put a logo on the back, um, that's totally up to you. But the right side, that's where you want the important information to be. All right, so at this point, you are just editing and adding your background, graphics, and text. You can do that on the left side panel by clicking Elements and Text. You can also upload graphics. Now, even though I designed mine with Bleed, um, if you're a beginner, I recommend that you do 10 by 7 instead of 10.25 by 7.25. You can also duplicate the page and add an inside with text if you'd like. If you wanted to actually sell these designs, let's say you didn't want to print, but you wanted to sell the finished product as a printable, or maybe you wanted to give it away as a printable for someone else to print, and they're printing on letter size cardstock, you would need a print sheet for that. Now you can create your own, but I will have linked in the description our print sheet. And we have two different types and we have the trim marks already available. So if you get this from us, the first sheet is 10.25 by 7.25. This is includes bleed and it has exactly where they need to trim. It also get, gives additional information for you to replace with your own text for your use. Um, and then the second page, if you don't want to include bleed, again, it has the trim marks already ready for them. So all you would have to do is drop in your design, download the PDF, and you could sell that or give it away as a freebie. So I'm going to go back to the design that we just made. And I am going to click on share. And I'm going to download each one, each page individually. And when you download each page, make sure you download it as a PNG and bring up the size to 1.625. So now I'm going to go back to my print sheet and I'm just going to drag and drop it into the design. So I'm using page one because my design includes bleed and I'm going to duplicate it as well because I did do an inside. Now I don't recommend doing an inside just because it's easier just to do an outside, but you can if you want to. Um, but yeah, so I have the front page, which is the front and back. And then the second page is the inside and I'm going to download this as a PDF print. Make sure you flatten it, and I'm only doing pages one and two, and then select download. 
Now we're gonna open up the PDF file so that we can print, and we are gonna print this twice because we have different settings. So for the first page, I'm gonna make sure that I change the page to one because we're only printing the first page. Make sure the size is set to actual and the paper type is photo paper glossy because I'm printing on single-sided glossy. Once that gets printed, I'm going to go back and print the second page. So for the page, I'm gonna select two actual size and then the paper type is going to be presentation paper matte because the back side is matte it's not glossy i printed on our 61 pound party printables cardstock All right and this is what it looks like when it's printed the front is glossy the back side is matte and we can see our trim marks um, where we're going to cut now again, I'm using the version with bleed and I recommend this if you're cutting stacks of paper. So if you're not cutting stacks and you're just um, selling the PDF, do the one without bleed. All right, so this is my scoring board and at the five inch mark, I'm just gonna use my boning tool to make the score mark and all I have to do is fold after that and that's it, so easy. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you learned something new, be sure to like and follow for more. Later y'all.